What is going on everybody? TechThusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your project TV icons from looking like this into this. A quick reminder that you will need to use the premium version of Project TV Launcher. Now if you're completely new to Project TV Launcher then I will leave a link in the description on how to set it up for the first time. Now with that being said let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is head over to the GitHub page and I will leave a link in the description. Now, if I scroll down, this is a sample of how these icons look like. They're very high quality and yeah, you'll just see for yourself once you download it. Now, there's two ways to go about it. If you want, you can download the APK from here, then onto your phone, then transfer it to your Android TV with local send or any other app. Or you can use the downloader code as seen here. Just make sure you have the app installed on your TV. This is probably the fastest way to do it. As for applying the theme or the icons, this is basically how you do it. But again, I will demonstrate it in the video as well as changing the uh, icon backgrounds. All right, so if we just scroll down a little now, you can actually also request icons. So before you, you know, request any icons you might want to just check if the app that you're using is in this list and yeah there's a whole load as you can see there's over like 600 app icons so i'm not going to scroll all the way down you get the idea and if you wanted to request it you can click on here it's going to take to your github page you will need a github account then uh, click on new icon request give it a title it's already there then we're going to give it the app name and just write a short uh, description and click on create it's simple as that okay so next we've got a few other things you can read about here troubleshooting etc i mean this make gonna make the video a bit longer so you can do that on your own time and lastly if you're really happy with your setup you may want to consider donating as this icon set is completely free and it's being updated regularly. All right, so back on our Android TV, we're going to install Downloader if we don't have it already. So we're going to open it up and click up to go to the search bar. I'm going to change it to number pad and then type in the Downloader code, which was on the uh, GitHub page. Now this could change whenever the icon pack is updated so make sure you have the latest version okay so once done we're going to click on enter the link will show up i'm just going to click on it straight away to start the download and the file size isn't too big it should download pretty instantly now if you get this prompt that means you need to give downloader permissions to install an apk so click on settings then scroll down to downloader then enable and the install should uh, pop up and install it so once that has finished i'm going to click on done and if you want you can disable this uh, permission again but i'm just going to leave it and click on home so here we have the uh, project tv icon pack app so i'm just going to open it and it's giving us a uh, prompt to allow file access i'm going to click on allow so again this is a this is how it's going to basically look at the icon packs as you can see on the top and we've got four tabs on the bottom so i'm just going to go on to the icons now if i go to the top you can see there are at the time of this video 631 icons 37 which have no mapping then we've got generic tv icons and if we scroll down category icons so i'm just going to go ahead and skip to request now if you want to request an icon from within the app i believe that is possible so just select an app here so mixplorer this was downloaded from xda it's got a different uh, file name from the play store that's why it didn't get mapped now you can select it or multiple and then click request icon now i believe you need an email app so that's why it wasn't able to uh, progress further but i showed you how to do it on the uh, github page so i'm not going to delve too much into it in this section and then we've got apply so i'm going to click on it and there's various launchers here as you can see but projective is the only one that is in color which is basically the only one you can use 
So I'm going to select that and we've got a prompt here. This is how you can enable it as well from Project TV settings. I'll show you later on in the video. I'm going to click on OK and that's it. The icons have applied. Now you may notice there is one icon pack, sorry, one app that hasn't uh, applied that's Mixplorer. So we can actually uh, change the icon for this right now. So we're going to long press, scroll down to change icon, then select from icon pack. And then we can go to the uh, top where all the icons are listed. Now, if you want, you can, you know, scroll down, manually look for it, or we can go to the search, which is a very nice feature on this. And then start typing the name of the app. And here it is. So I'm going to select it. And just like that, the Mixplorer icon just changed. Very straightforward. All right. So what we're going to do next is change the backgrounds for the uh, icons because I've got a dark theme we're going to make it transparent so from within project TV uh, settings we're going to go into appearance cards and then we're going to go down to background color and then we're going to go to the one with the X icon on the bottom right corner select it and then click on OK And here it is, icons with transparent backgrounds, looks very nice and clean. Now one thing I want to show you is how to change an icon with a picture that you may have made yourself. So we're going to long press on the icon, then go to change icon, and then we're going to choose from picture. Now this has automatically gone into a pictures directory, you may have to manually browse yourself. So select the file and that is it. As you can see, the icon has changed. Now, if for any reason you didn't like it and you wanted to remove it, so you just have to long press, go to change icon and then select reset. And that's it, it's removed straight away. Okay, so once you're happy with your Project TV icon setup, you may no longer like to have this app here. So we're just gonna long press it and we're going to scroll down to hide. And lastly, I'm just going to go back into Project TV settings. And we're going to go to the uh, appearance. Go to cards. And then we're going to scroll down to icon pack. And here is the icon. If you had multiple, you can select from there. Now, if you wanted to remove the icon packs, you just select none and that's it. The icon pack is disabled. And if you wanted to enable it again, pretty much the same thing. Select on the icon pack, select the icon and that's it. The icon pack has been enabled. So there you have it. This is how you install this new icon pack on your Project TV launcher to give it a fantastic look. So that wraps it up for this video and a huge thanks to Sigmundus86 for making this icon pack for free. Now if you have found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please support me by subscribing. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.